Today was about inviting our um, colleagues, partners, people we've worked with right across the Yorkshire region to meet the DCLG to hear about how we can access funding, how we can be better prepared for what is going on in terms of austerity right across the country in terms of local authority funding and the goodwill of their, that they used to have diminishing. It's been great coming to Huddersfield to learn about what uh, community groups have been doing across health, uh, young services and uh, faith communities. Uh, what's been really, really good is uh, identifying the brilliant practice that's been uh, shown. So we're taking some examples back to London to tell the rest of the country about, about how great Yorkshire is. A huge amount of enthusiasm. Been he hearing about how, how uh, community organisations are, 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 are Finding it harder to get funding for the rest of the afternoon, we're going to discuss some of the ways that some of the programmes we've worked with have managed to overcome the problems that uh, they've, they've faced and hopefully some of those lessons will be useful. A couple of people that I know I'm keeping in touch with straight away uh, with some project ideas which are going to help my students but also work well into community. And I think they're the things that we need to do. It's that small start that becomes bigger. Um, and the buzz in the room as I was leaving, I think there's a lot of talk and a lot of action that's going to come out of today. We should be working together and not alongside each other. And um, yeah, and we, we would be so much stronger working together. But also valuing what we do and making sure the government values what we do. We always do over and above for the funding we get, or we do over and above without any funding. So this time it's like we're actually saying to them, this is who we are, this is what we're worth. So come to us with um, the appropriate funding and with the appropriate mechanisms and rewards that we can actually get. I think the biggest thing is to know that there's a group such as DCLG who can support us, who can give us the necessary advice. And also the website, the communities.com one, that helps us to be able to um, put our funding applications in better and give us a lot of information that we need to help us um, to get to that next step. I intend to get in touch with KLTV again and uh, speak to Milton and I'm sure there's a lot that we can do together. I think KLTV is a, a fantastic platform for for the communities as a whole. I thought hearing the experiences of other people and how we could work together is an excellent way forward and I'm certainly going to take take that with me and, and share that with my group in terms of being part of that collective. It's really, really great uh, having someone bring uh, groups together across an area for us. Uh, one of the things that we struggle with is quite often we will go somewhere and then speak to a few groups where actually here we have people representing uh, several different communities in several different parts of Yorkshire, which uh, kind of really helps our engagement and I'm sure helps the local authorities engage extremely well. We're going to host another kind of event just to see what's happened since we all met. There's lots of people who met today for the first time. There's lots of people who have exchanged numbers. And I think there's a real commitment now to work co-productively in making a difference for our communities.